pretend to be what I'm not. I told him, like, Fred, if I'm with you, then I feel as if you're supposed to be my wife. There's no longer a debate in Uganda. We don't recognize homosexuality as a human right here. The anti-homosexuality bill, which was tabled in Parliament, proposes life imprisonment for gay activity and death for aggravated homosexuality. Homosexuals, they eat each other's rectum. They eat their food. Americans and Europeans. They want us to eat their poison of homosexuality. We're saying no. I received another letter from the archbishop. The diocese do launch a vigorous crusade against all forms of homosexuality. When the religious right people from America came, they claimed that we are recruiting young children in schools. It's when they formed the anti-gay coalition rainbow. It's the rainbow is our colors. I'm the very first gay man to be open in Uganda. I'm a child by profession. I went to one of the best schools, and here I am. At SMAG, I work as the advocacy and litigation officer. So if a LGBT individual gets into a problem, I always have to rush out, look around for lawyers to try to bail out people. So <clears throat> my work mostly is to document uh, violences and cases of discrimination against gay people. Now they're making allegations that the recent bombings in Kampala, that it was the LGBT people that organized for it. So this one makes me panic, because now they're taking us to be traitors. Some of our people are going to be beaten up again. If this bill passes, they say within 24 hours, someone should report the person he knows to be gay. We are really going back into a ministry regime. We're going to keep on fighting until we see a liberated lesbian, gays, bisexual, transgender people. I won't keep quiet until we have got our, our vision through. Now we have pushed the dialogue by force. We brought this action for enforcement of his human rights. David, I know him, he's troubling. But people like David can come out and speak sooner or later, they will be free. Prime Minister Gordon Brown came to see me. And what was he talking about? Gays. Mrs. Clinton rang me. What was she talking about? Gays. I sleep here alone. Sometimes I fear if they come and get me here when I'm alone. As it was, it is now never shall be. Life is not static. It moves. Okay, things change. But Africans here, with our pastors being so stupid, I'm sorry, they are so naive. Let's educate. Make awareness into religious leaders, into MOPs, to understand. This court verdict today has shown that indeed justice is possible in this country. I'm going to continue on. No, we have to keep on fighting. We know what you want. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't have your time. Yesterday, gay rights activist David Katochisule was attacked at his home by unknown assailants. We have come here to take our friend to his creator. Who are you to judge? God did not punish David Cato. People murdered him falsely in the name of God. Blue Angle Scott Lively, there is blood on your hands. The reality, somebody spilled his blood, his brains on the mattress. Let us show Obama not enough. As we grieve, as we can't forget that we've been empowered through the death of David. Thank for us to fight. The barrier. We don't know where it came from, but we claimed our space. And I think the homophobic side of it is like, how could they do that? Where did they get the guts to do that? They can't wipe out homosexuality. They can't. So, to David, I think it was a great job he did. I wish I could one day get closer to his shoe. They kept on saying we're not here, but of late, 